What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all the changes coming to Call of Duty Vanguard uh, before next week's launch. Sledgehammer released tons of info yesterday talking about multiplayer, zombies, war zone. It was a lot of uh, a lot of information, more than I can cover in this video. I'm going to go over just the multiplayer changes. And this is a lot of great stuff. Uh, before I get into the details, be sure you check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the new merch shop that just opened up yesterday. It is linked in the description as well. And if you enjoy the content, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Of course, the biggest takeaway from yesterday's, uh, I think, notes was Ninja being placed in the game as a permanent perk. I will get into all the details about what they're replacing uh, in that uh, with that here in just a second. But I'm going to go over some of the other things, but that is one thing that is coming back. I will link these notes down in the description as well if you would like to read over them for yourself. First of all, they talked about uh, visibility. They said distortion effects were removed from muzzle flash and reduced smoke emanated from when firing a weapon, completed a pass on muzzle flash placement covering with aim down sights. Uh, they removed the droplets of water that get uh, kind of in your face when it rains. Of course, I'm sure most of you remember when it would rain in those maps, you'd see droplets of uh, you know rain and stuff on your weapons, but it also would get on your screen, which is kind of distracting and kind of annoying when you are playing a first person shooter. Uh, they fixed the cases of name tags appearing through destruction. Lens flare was reduced across all maps. And also lighting and UI in the launch and monitor player feedback surrounding the various topics of visibility that was also looked at. Also various bugs have been fixed including the bug where certain optics would stop enemy and friendly HUD icons from displaying when you're ADS'd. For the audio side, they said footsteps are silent when players ADS, crouch walk, or have a perk. Field upgrade equ equipped which silences movement. They fixed a bug that calls shots after the first shot to be too quiet. Op uh, operator... Uh, kind of when they talk you know when they say things in game that's going to be kind of less frequently now and they ask butcher to uh, chill out the vo lines are also less uh, frequent on butcher as well and audio received a complete mixing and content overhaul to address community feedback from the public beta including more audible footsteps player and non-player weapons and map environment content it said you should be able to hear footsteps better now we all know during the beta they were very quiet even though Really, there was no dead silence in the game. It was still very quiet. And that was the interesting thing to me. A lot of people wanted dead silence placed in the game, and I think it should be. And I think if dead silence is going to be in a game, you should have louder footsteps. But if you're not going to have dead silence, the footsteps should be pretty quiet, or we kind of be like where we were with Modern Warfare. So you couldn't really make a play in Modern Warfare, especially if you're playing like Search and Destroy or something. Uh, Modern Warfare 2019, the footsteps are very loud until you hit your, you know, your perk to, or until you hit your ability to be able to use that. Uh, dead silence and a lot of people wanted that gone if they were going to improve the footsteps they wanted that uh, dead silence perk to actually be a available perk that you didn't have to wait on to come off cooldown for spawns a, a bug resulting in unreliable spawns and patrol has been fixed and they will continue to refine the spawn logic as time improves uh, kind of over the game's life cycle and of course the different player counts and games uh, depending on what game mode you're playing and whatnot they're going to continue to watch those spawns and exactly how they're working uh, in each individual game Grenades and incendiaries no longer slow movement. A cap has been placed on max suppression effects. Changes have been made to the animation times. Uh, sprint out times have been sped up and are rebalanced, which is a great thing. Sprint out times felt a bit slow in Vanguard compared to other Call of Duties. Also, a perk that players didn't have access to in the beta makes immune uh, to movement reducing effects, which is dauntless. That will be added into the game. Uh, weapons, shotguns, lethality has been improved. The effective range of most shotguns, SMGs, and pistols have been reduced. Uh, some of them were overperforming. Uh, hip fire spread has been adjusted on most guns. Trade-offs on barrels, magazines, and stocks have been reduced. Uh, ammo types were rebalanced. Squash bugs affecting weapon progression. Uh, Vanguard's version of the smoke grenade will work differently than previous, grenade, uh, previous grenades have, uh, previous smoke grenades have. You're fully hidden from distant enemies, but can be seen at closer ranges, allowing you to use the grenade, uh, the smoke grenade that is, to kind of close distance between you and enemies kind of far off. That way you can hunt them down with close quarter combat build. So that's a little bit different than what we've seen smoke grenades or how smoke grenades have acted in the past. Uh, of course, also let's say try, set, uh, try setting your mount options to use ADS rather than ADS me melee. It's not for everybody, but it's a powerful way to become more accurate in a instant when staying out of harm's way they talked about kill streaks and kill streak upgrades some changes they made to that uh, of course some things they did was friendly spy planes and counter spy planes will no longer appear overhead spy planes and counter spy planes move slower so they're easier to hit counter spy planes have a shorter duration 
uh, health has been reduced on the spy planes, counter spy planes, and most of the field upgrades. Death machine and wars machine have been swapped with the cost, so those those have been swapped out. So that death machine in the beta was higher, I think, than the war machine, if I remember right. Maybe the opposite, but anyway, those swapped cop, uh, cost out on that. Glide bomb is now easier to control. That was a pain in the beta. The thing was kind of just out of control. Actually, whenever you'd use it, it would not go in the direction you wanted it to. A max timer has been added to the radar jammer and field mic upgrades and bugs resulting in graphical uh, corruption of the attack dogs has been fixed as well. No more dog nados. Uh, and last but not least, perks. Low profile has been removed and replaced with ninja. Now, I don't remember the name of the perk perk exactly that low profile countered. There was another perk in the game that low profile countered, so I'm not sure how they're going to adjust that. But it was really great to hear that low profile has been removed and that dead silence perk has been added. That way we can have uh, dead silence on all the time, which will be really, really good. I think most players are going to enjoy that. If we have louder footstep sounds, that's going to be a big plus. Uh, if you think about it, you know, people can actually move around and play a faster paced game. And you don't really have to be moving around slowly or sitting somewhere waiting on people. You know, to me, if you have no dead silence and people can hear you coming uh, since they have improved the audio, that would have really been a big issue for making people camp more. I know people are going to camp anyway, but at least with dead silence on, you can move around the map and really, you know, improve uh, the, the speed of the gameplay. Now, from what I understand, it will be in perk one. So that's going to be competing with Ghost and some other really good perks. So that perk one slot is going to be an interesting one to figure out exactly what you want to run. But at least we do have dead silence in the game. Anyway, guys, let me comment your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.